Hi everybody. How's everybody doing today? I just got done doing my Texas safety inspection for my car and ordering my tags online. So those are going to come supposedly in a week. Um, and hopefully it won't take longer than that. I've got a good recommendation for to buy some seafood, like raw seafood. Paul's Seafood. The lady said that he used to drive his truck around selling seafood and he sold like really good portions for a good price. Um, and then she also recommend uh, Surfing Crab as a restaurant for me to try. This paper has been sun bleached. I believe it was purple initially, but I left it up in the dash and um, like tucked down kind of where the tint is at, which would explain like why it's different colors now. But yeah, I'm behind in schoolwork. Um, I got to get caught up on the Living Word um, Bible School. I'm like super behind in that. I might even drop out of that. I'm not even sure. Um, behind in Trident University. Got to get caught up on that. I went to Build-A-Bear today. Yeah. Um, I thought it opened up at 10, but then it didn't open up until 11 and I got there at 930. Which it worked out because I had to um, cut video clips for a while to get some recordings of my brother's voice. Your Uncle David, if any of my three girls are watching, um, or if Leilani, if you're watching this, um, or Maya, you know, whoever's watching this, my brother David, I went and had his... Uh, voice put in some teddy bears for the kids um i'm not going to upload this video until after i mail all of you your bears because um my girls aren't getting bears but leilani you're gonna get a bear and um amia you're getting a bear david and armani you're both getting bears and maya you're getting a bear and mom if you're watching this video you and matthew are gonna get a owl to share um, I didn't have myself made one. I'm okay. Um, would like for me to get some of his ashes mailed out to me, but I don't know if that's ever going to happen. Um, today's a decent day. I mean, put some clouds. I just want to see him. Look, some clouds. Might rain. Anyways, um, I love you all very much, and I hope you all have a really good day. Um, I have to go pick up my kids here in a little bit. Mm. And then I got a surprise. Kiara. I don't know if she's watching this. I don't know if she watches any of my videos. She might. If you're watching this, I love you. Um, and I don't know where to look at the camera. I'm looking at myself. I should be looking up, but staring at that. I feel like like radiation is like going through my brain. I feel like I'm getting cross-eyed or something by staring at the little camera hole. I can't do that. So you guys just have to deal with me looking everywhere, but but at you. <laughs> um I want to I got you a canopy bed. I gotta put it together. But uh I'm gonna wait until well, I know I'm going to have enough time to do it. And I also, I'm waiting on some other packages from Amazon. Um, I don't think they showed up today. Maybe they'll show up tonight. Um, unless somebody stole them. But I haven't got a, an alert on my phone yet about that. About anything being delivered. Um, I love you all. And I hope you all have a really good day. Or night. Um, and my prayer for everybody, whether you're related to me or not, whether you're just a YouTube, um, 
subscriber or somebody just came across this video, my prayer for you tonight and for today is that whatever is hurting you, whatever thoughts or memories or experiences that you've gone through in life that that you let God heal you of those things and that you give your fears and your anxieties over to God and you let him start healing you you won't heal overnight it doesn't happen in the blink of an eye but you need to let that process start and whether you want to hear this or not, you know, you're told <clears throat> to forgive other people. You go, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgive them. I forgive them. But we really don't. Like, sometimes we really do, but sometimes we really don't. Okay? And more often than not, we don't because it of all the hurtful things that they've said or done to us. Um, but that was... Who's ever hurt you? They were at one point somebody's baby, somebody's child. They at one time wore diapers that sagged between their legs and somebody hurt them and they grew up and they hurt you. And they didn't wake up one day and say, I'm going to be a piece of whatever. No. They didn't say, I'm going to wake up and be a drug addict. I'm going to wake up and be an alcoholic. I'm going to wake up and be an abuser. I'm going to wake up and be a liar, a cheater, or a thief. Nobody wakes up and says or does those things. Things happen to them, and the devil gets to them, and around and around it goes. The, you know, it, It's a vicious cycle, and nobody plans on hurting somebody. I mean, they might. They might plan on hurting you. But if you really think about it, they were once a little kid too who had hopes and dreams and wanted to grow up and get married and become this and that. And somebody else hurt them. And that doesn't excuse their behavior. That doesn't excuse what they did. It doesn't justify what they did. But if you can wrap your mind around that somebody hurt them first and they grew up and they hurt you, makes it a little easier to forgive them because if if we don't the cycle just keeps going on you let the devil win by not forgiving them but when you forgive them that lets room for God to heal you and start healing them too maybe they'll get better maybe they won't but if you can give all that back over to God it'll help it'll help with your PTSD your anxiety your depression your your fear um, the feeling of being un, unwanted the feeling of being scared the feeling of never being enough or or having enough just you have to start giving stuff over to God um, That's truth. Healing comes through forgiveness. Um, I'm not 100% better. But I'm better than I was yesterday. And the people who used to hurt me a lot... I've given a lot of those hurts to God and those people to God. And let me remind you something. True forgiveness isn't um, saying that I forgive but I won't forget. The Bible doesn't say that. The Bible says that God forgives us not, you know, seven times seven, but 77 times seven. And you go deeper into the researching forgiveness and 
he forgets it the same as he forgives it. As if it never happened and you were made white as snow. White as snow. Okay? So, when you say, not going to forget... Okay, well, obviously, you're not going to forget. It's not just going to be wiped from your memory. But you need to forget it in a sense of it no longer bothers you. You're no longer offended by it. If it's brought up, um, it's not something that's going to send you into a downward spiral. Um, and if the person that hurt you comes around... That you're not easily triggered or upset or worried or in fear. Now that doesn't mean go around people that are actively in their addiction and can hurt you. Are actively uh, toxic and wanting to hurt you. Um, but... If that person seeks forgiveness, let's say it's a family member, a brother or sister. That's, I'm just using that as, as an example. Say it's a brother or sister who apologizes and says, look, what I said or did was really wrong. And I am really, really sorry. And they try to, to make good on, uh, you know, seeking your forgiveness and, and repenting. And, um... And you don't want no relationship with them. Mm, what does that say about your heart issues? You know, I'm not saying, you know, you have to be best friends right away. But sit down for a cup of coffee. Go get your nails done together if you're sisters. Um, go watch a movie. Um, call. Call and check on them and see how they're doing. If you're mad at them today. And what they did might have been wrong and might have hurt you. But what if it's the last time you ever get to speak to that person? Um, and the last thing they said is that they were sorry. And that they wanted a relationship with you. But in return, you said that you would forgive them, but you wouldn't forget. And that you wouldn't take their phone calls. Um, if someone's really trying... To make things right. Give it a shot. You know. That does not mean. If they're actively abusive. Toxic. Such as consuming alcohol. Physically violent. Hitting you. Hurting you. Calling you out by name repeatedly. Um. Don't put yourself in a bad situation. But if there's genuine possibility of um, restoration of relationship, you should give that a try. It's what Jesus would do. Um, you know, be mindful that not everybody who's in your life is meant to stay the entire duration of your life some people are only meant to be there for a season some people are just there to teach you something and then to go um you don't have to hold on to things that are hurting you um god is a restoring god and god wants to restore you and your heart and he seeks your childlike heart who you were as a child around seven, eight years old when you had no cares in the world and you didn't worry for the bills and you didn't worry for the food and you didn't worry for the roof over your head because that was an adult's responsibility and the adults took care of it. And the only thing you had to worry about was, you know, um, what you wanted to watch for, for TV or, you know, just playing outside. Um, get back to your core childlike self 
love each other, forgive each other, help one another. And most importantly, no matter who you forgive, you need to forgive yourself. Forgive you. Forgive yourself for making the wrong choice. Forgive yourself for going down the wrong path. Forgive yourself for being with the wrong person. Forgive yourself for saying the wrong words. Forgive yourself for, for doing whatever it is that you did. God wants you to forgive you. God's already forgiven you. But you beat yourself up with guilt. And you hurt every day for the choices that you made. But God says he's going to use those choices that you made. He's going to use them to build you strong and to help other people. And that you had to go through what you had to go through so you could be who you have to be. It sucks. It hurts. You have to forgive yourself. You have to forgive yourself. No matter who you hurt, what you said, what you did, who you lied to, whatever it is. God wants you to forgive you. Stop feeling guilty. There is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. You need to forgive everybody, including you. Did you remember to forgive yourself? You're not forgotten. You're not alone. might feel alone. You might physically be where there's no other people around you at all. But you're not alone. You're different. You're set apart. But you're not alone. Maybe you just haven't found your people yet. I feel alone. I feel alone quite often. Sometimes I cry. Yeah, I'm okay. And you'll be okay too. No. I think I've chatted enough. <laughs> I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna upload this. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it private for now. And then I will edit the privacy on it later. If YouTube lets me. Um, that way I know I have it uploaded. And I will uh, have this up as soon as I mail out those Care Bears. Um, I love all of you. And I hope you all have a really good day. And remember, they say tomorrow's not promised. But really, tonight's not promised either. And neither is the next five minutes. Love each other. Oh, yeah, one thing. And if the person you're trying to get forgiveness from won't give you forgiveness, won't acknowledge you, and won't go near you, and it hurts your heart to keep trying to, to get forgiveness from them, don't. 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 Okay? That's not healthy, and that's bad for you. Don't, don't reach for people who won't reach back for you. Don't extend your arm to save someone falling off a cliff. If they're just going to chuck you over the side when you do it. Be wise. You know, you can seek forgiveness. Don't get your feelings hurt like I did. I try to make up with my family members on multiple things. And nobody ever called me back. Nobody ever responded to me. And I cried and I hurt because I, this thing in my head telling me, you know, you have no family because your family didn't call you back. God gives you new family. Yeah, you're raised with whoever for 10, 20 years or whatever. You still have another 40, 50 years to go. God's going to give you new family. It hurts. 
but it hurts even more when you keep reaching and they don't reach back. Block them. Or if you don't block them, at least stop messaging them and calling them. You're hurting yourself when you do that. Love you guys. Have a good night.